For their holidays, Sammy and Sophia want to travel across Europe with their two children. To be able to pay abroad, they don't just carry cash, but also their bank card and credit card. Their bank card contains two card payment schemes. One is the card scheme operated by German banks and savings banks, which can be used to pay in Germany. The other one is a card scheme operated by international companies. The cooperation with these companies is intended to enable acceptance of the bank card abroad. In Germany, Sammy and Sophia like to use the convenient option of paying by bank card. Payment in Germany is possible without any problems via the national card payment scheme. The infrastructure and systems of German banks, cooperative banks and savings banks are used. The family's first destination is Spain. In this restaurant, however, payment by bank card does not work despite cooperation with an international card payment scheme. Payment by credit card is possible. The infrastructure of international providers is used to process credit card payments. The next stage of their journey is taking the family to Italy. They search online for a hotel room. Sophia wants to complete the booking on the internet with her bank card but this isn't possible. She has to register for a separate payment method for online payment instead and complete the booking using an international online payment service provider. The family has now arrived in Italy. Once there, the family goes on an excursion with a rented electric car. As the battery needs to be recharged, the family has to drive to a charging station in a parking lot. However, Sophia's cards don't work at the charging station. And there is no standardized cashless payment method for recharging at charging points in electricity filling stations throughout Europe. Sophia wonders how payments in Europe could be better and more convenient. If there were a single pan-European cashless payment solution that I could use in shops, restaurants and even online, things would be so much easier. Sophia thinks. And she has a point. A European payment solution that could be used throughout Europe would ensure that all European citizens can pay flexibly, quickly and conveniently at any time, whether at the cash register abroad, on the internet or in other everyday situations. Such a European payment solution could offer a variety of payment choices. The system would be usable not only with a bank card, but also with a smartphone and smartwatch. And it could also be used to pay when charging with electricity or for traditional online shopping. A European payment solution would be linked to your own bank account. By simply checking the one account, you would always have an overview of all your expenses. A pan-European cashless payment solution would mean more digital sovereignty for Europe and more competition. It would be another important step towards a common single market and a united Europe. The family would like to take their next round trip through Europe in a camper van. A single pan-European payment solution would definitely make such a holiday more convenient. <laughs>